What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here in Carlsbad, California with Toyota for the first drive event of this vehicle right here. This is it. This is the new 2023 Corolla Cross Hybrid. But before we get into this base S trim of this small compact crossover SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Toyota. They're really trying to strengthen their electrification in their lineup, and they're doing it differently than some other OEMs. Instead of going full battery electric vehicle, what they're doing is they're bringing electrification to many vehicles in their lineup through hybrid technology. Now, what's great about this Corolla Cross being a hybrid, you don't have to worry about range anxiety, and if you're looking for a vehicle that brings a lot for the money, this may be the perfect crossover SUV for you. So what I want to find out is, is this the best value in that crossover SUV segment? Let's go ahead. Let's dive into this S trim of the hybrid of the Corolla Cross and find out. Right off the bat, the color. This is a great color. It's called wind chill and it's got a nice satin pearlescent style to it. Really kind of shows and fits the body lines very, very well. Now at the front of the business, you'll notice we have LED projector beam headlights, and then you're gonna get a mixture of some old school lighting, and that's to be expected. This is the S trim. There's a total of three trims, S, SE, and XSE. I've done the other two, so I'll leave the links of those at the end of this review. Now with it being the entry level, you'll notice that you don't get the fog lamps, you have to go all the way to XSE to get the fog lamps. But what you do get is that great two-tone style and all of them have the sporty trim, that being what the S, the SE, and the XSE are all about. Now, as we come across the front, we've already talked about this lower grill area. One of the things that I do like about it is just how wide they made it. And it kind of has a unique identity compared to say something like a Venza, a RAV4, uh, or a Highlander. So they definitely did very unique style on this. I think that the flat black is very, very smart because that is gonna take a better beating over time than if this was all gloss black. And no matter what trim you get, you're gonna get the gloss black around the outer extension of the grill area. So that kind of gives it a nice balance. Now, when we get up onto that hood, great style and as you can see that paint job i'm telling you it sparkles like a diamond in the california sun now as we come around the bend what are we working with wheel and tire setup the great news is there's only two wheel choices one is 17 inch one is 18 inch this being the s trim this has the 17 inch wheel machine aluminum a little bit of gloss black and then you're going to get these michelin tires 215 on the width 65 series sidewall. What's interesting is if you go up to SE, which is the mid trim, you still get the same wheels and tires. Flat black around the fender treatment, there's no way to get that changed depending on what trim you go with. The good news is it's not too much like on a Subaru. Subaru seems to, I think the next Subaru that comes out will be all plastic cladding, like the whole car. But with this Corolla Cross, they kept it tasteful. Coming down the side, you do get these uh, flat black mirror caps, no turn singles or anything built in. If you want the turn singles, if you want them painted, you gotta step it up to SE and XSE. I like the way this one does not have the roof rails or crossbars, gives it a nice clean look. And then you're still gonna get color matched on the door handles. And I like the way the flat black around the window openings goes well with the flat black trim throughout the whole vehicle. The big news with this Corolla Cross, even being the base trim, the S, all of them come with all wheel drive. So you have an electric motor on the rear axle to drive the rear wheels. And you know me, I gotta zonk that badge. It would be nice if the badge was on the back. Now, as we come towards the rear, you'll see we have the Corolla Cross name stamped into that trim that extends all the way to the rear of the vehicle. And then talking about the rear, I love the way that they just, they kept it clean and it has a lot of similarities with the other trims. You are gonna get LED on the taillights, just the taillights, but you do have the blacked out trim everywhere, 
Corolla Cross Hybrid, the Toyota badge, and then working our way all the way down. Same thing as up front, it's a balance of flat black and gloss black. But like I said, this being the S trim, this is what they're bringing. Let's go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk about horsepower and MPGs from this hybrid. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod no matter what trim you go with. But the good news is just like the all-wheel drive standard, you're also getting the same power plant no matter which of the three trims you go with. So that equates to a two liter inline four paired to the electric motors, gives you 196 horsepower, made it to an eCBT, zero to 60 in eight seconds. With that lithium ion battery pack, you could get 45 MPGs in the city, 38 on the highway, and the vehicle in S trim weighs 3,375 pounds, and you could also tow 1,500 pounds. Another nice thing is you got eight inches of ground clearance, so you don't have to worry about hitting any parking blocks or curbs or sidewalks when you're parking. But why don't we go ahead, let's fire this up and see it move. All right, guys, we're inside this Corolla Cross Hybrid, the S trim. Now, you might say to yourself, Joe, is going the base trim uh, like a cheap way to do it? Like, am I going to be let down because it's like driving a plastic box with four wheels? I think you're not going to have to worry about that with this Corolla Cross Hybrid. I mean, think about the fact that it's got all wheel drive standard, it's a hybrid. Now I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, then tell me what the price is since we're talking about value. Starting price for an S is right at $27,800. This one with two options, one of them being the paint, has an MSRP of $29,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. So right away on the door panel, you get the same style as the Corolla. The only thing I'm gonna have to zonk is it's all hard plastic, but that kind of makes sense because of this being the S trim. No gloss black, nice soft text material on the armrest. And then the door pocket is a decent size. You could easily get, I would say, two rattlesnake tacos and a bottle of tarantula root beer to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same great material on the dash, nice and soft here as the Corolla. Even the way they do the silver trim still looks fresh, even though it's been around for a few years, the Corolla has. And then what you're gonna be given is this eight inch infotainment system. It may be small, maybe you've heard that once or twice before in your life, but the good news is with this infotainment system, it's got the new multimedia operating software and it's very intuitive. You got your energy flow. I don't know if you noticed, you got navigation on the base trim. That's really huge. Throw it into reverse. You do have your backup camera. Not the clearest, but if you want better resolution, go XSE. Tell them Joe Rady from Rady's Ride sent you. Got your two AC vents blended in nicely. Standard AC controls, they're easy to figure out. You do have a USB-C. Down here is the official Toyota Twinkie tray. Say that 20 times fast. Easily put eight Twinkies. You just double stack it in there. This is your ECBT shifter for your transmission. You got drive mode selector switch down below, and then working your way back, two cup holders. I like the way there's just a little bit of gloss black. You got your standard Toyota key fob, nothing to write home about, but it works. Armrest up and high. I know this is an S trim, but I am gonna zonk this black cloth. First of all, it doesn't match the seats. Seats have cloth interior. This is cloth, it's two different colors. My OCD is going nuts right now. Plus, the other issues I have with it is just it's too rough and it's not soft. If you call something an armrest, it's a place where you wanna rest your arm. Go figure. Open it up, you got a USB-C, another one, so that makes it two up here, a 12 volt, and there's enough room in there, I would say for four of those chocolate pudding snack packs from Del Monte and a couple plastic spoons in there so you could share. Don't be a pig. Share your pudding, for God's sakes. Seats, the cloth material, they're stylish, 
comfortable, nice trim. Bolstering is, is uh, pretty good on the sides. And then it is manual adjustments for the passenger. Of course, manual adjustments for the driver and no sunroof. But this is the S trim. If you want to get a sunroof, go SE. But why don't you get your ASS over here because I want to show you behind the wheel of the Corolla Hybrid, the Cross Hybrid S. Come All right, guys, over. behind the wheel, Toyota does a pretty good job balancing the material usage in here so that it doesn't feel like a rental car. And let me show you some of the nice things. So you got your seat controls. They're easy to figure out. They are manual, but like I said, this is a base trim. I do like the amount of room and I actually don't mind the steering wheel being all black. On the other trims, they bring you a little gloss black and stuff like this. You do have the rubber main material, but the good news is this will outlast actually the er planet Earth. So when the planet Earth ceases to exist, the steering wheel rubber will still be present. You do have flat black on all the switch gear. It is a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And you have your dash set up with a color, a little bit larger than four inch display and the analog gauges for speedometer, coolant, fuel, all that good stuff. And then yes, you can scroll through the information in the center display. And you're getting a lot of, remember, safety features on this Corolla Cross Hybrid, which is excellent as well. And you got the different modes, including sport mode. So let's go ahead, let's get in the back seat because I wanna take this for a drive and experience what San Diego and Carlsbad, California has to bring to us. All right, guys, back seat time. And the good news is don't let the battery fear you into thinking that there's not enough space back here for your passengers. There is plenty. You do have cloth all the way around, but you know what? I think that's to be expected in the base trim. They do also give you AC vents, which is a nice touch. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, is there anything else you could get back here? If you go up other trims, you could get things like two USB-Cs and heated rear seats, which is a nice touch. Still have the supersized pocket here, and that's where you're gonna wanna put your Whammo. If you don't know what that is, Whammo made a Frisbee. So you could put at least two Frisbees here. And then just sitting here, it's pretty comfortable. The seats do a 60-40 split, and there is no armrest for the rear seat passenger, but I'm not gonna zonk that because like I said, this is the base S trim. But while we go ahead, let's get in a cargo area and see how much room we have in the Corolla Cross Hybrid. All right guys, time to get into the rear hatch area. Real simple, hit the button, open her up, and what you're gonna be greeted to is a little over 20 cubic feet of space. Now with this being the S trim, you don't have the JBL subwoofer. So what you do have is a nice large area for a gallon of chocolate milk. Other than that, plenty of room. If you need more, you can get more by folding down the seats. It's a nice 60-40 split, and if you wanna see me drop the seats, Watch one of my other Corolla Cross reviews. I'll leave it at the end of this one. But you know what? This may be the base trim, but I think you may be surprised on how it drives. Why don't we go ahead, hop in, and go on throttle together in this Corolla Cross Hybrid S trim. All right, guys, we are in this 2023 Corolla Cross Hybrid, this being the S trim, the entry level trim. And what's nice is I really think, like I said earlier, that uh, Toyota did a good job of trying to not make this feel like a rental car. You still got some nice touches throughout the whole interior, but of course there's areas where cuts had to be made to keep it at a certain price point. But the fact that it's got the same infotainment system, navigation, the multimedia system, all wheel drive, and the capacity for over 40 MPGs in the city? I mean, come on. I don't think there's many vehicles that are doing it for that kind of price point like this vehicle is. But what's great is, is that the size and the, and the way the visual reference points are, it's very easy to know where all four corners of the vehicle are. So while you're driving in traffic like we are right now, I'm able to navigate very cleanly. Parking is a breeze. And even though the backup camera is not the best resolution, 
it still is a good size and gives you a nice angle out the back. I don't know if you just heard that beeping. I actually did that on purpose. We have emergency brake assist. We have lane keep assist. So you're getting a lot of great technology safety wise that at this price point is sort of like unheard of. But going down the road, really, really love the way that the Corolla Cross drives. It actually drives better, the hybrid, than the standard one because of that lithium ion battery pack. And when the engine does come on, it's a nice transition. It's not too herky-jerky or anything like that. Instrumentation is easy to read. It lets you know this green light comes on that says EV to let you know when you're taking full advantage of that hybrid setup. But overall, very nicely done with each part of the interior, the front seats, the rear seats, and definitely that cargo area. I'm gonna come to a stop real quick. Nobody's behind us, and we're gonna go on throttle. I do have it in sport mode. On right, throttle, here we go. ECVT drops down, and we are on it. And remember, there are simulated gears, so that kind of helps keep down some of that drone. Not the fastest of SUVs, but you know what? It's also not the slowest either, which is great news. But definitely one of those vehicles that I really think is perfect for the city. And even like if you have a longer commute, this vehicle makes sense because of that great fuel economy. They did a good job on the suspension. The global architecture really works well with the Corolla Cross Hybrid. And I think those that are familiar with the Corolla, the sedan or the hatchback are gonna like the layout of this interior. But hopefully this has been a nice, good overall review of what the base trim brings on your Corolla Cross Hybrid. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split right, second. Guys, it's been another great day out here in Carlsbad, California. Gotta thank the whole Toyota team, of course. Let me know what you think. At the S trim level, is this thing packing the most for your hard-earned money and giving it true value? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we got to thank Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. Follow him on Instagram. Show him some love in the comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.